Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fausten. Uh huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me to. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Get out the car. You gonna steal my car? Play me out? Nico! Nico Bellic! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen! Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey! I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Eddie, come on! You fight like a worm, like a spineless worm! 
belly. You are nothing, belly. You are weak. Give up. The strong survive and the weak die. You will see. I got where I am for a reason. I will have some fun. Man, I need you. It was never going to last, Faustin. You took things too far. Cover me. You are being for you. really ugly. This one is for the old country. They call this your own. I'm not in the mood for bullshit. <laughs> Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. Dimitri, you got my money? I have it. Meet me at the warehouse on Mahanet in downtown Broker. Come along. Pissed off one. He's dead. I'm going to meet Dimitri to collect on the hit. Yo, Nico, you better watch your back, you know. I know you're wicked, but them boy, them are some dog ass. I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, what I can't see, the heart can't leave, but you know. Yeah, come with you. Where's the place? A warehouse on Mohanet. I know the one. You see around the back. Eyes, huh? You don't know. My avid seeing star. Hey, Nico. Glad you could make it. Yes. You got the money? Sure. But I just wanted to say how grateful me and my bosses are for what you did. Good. Yes. And I just wanted to check something with you. Okay. You are Nico Belik, correct? What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up and left a lot of bad debt. You left a good friend of mine out of pocket, big time. Hello, Nico. Hello, Mr. Bulgarin. Ross. Where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. Really? We were busted a mile off the coast. I had to swim for my life. 
I don't know what happened. I nearly drowned. Huh. My heart is bleeding. I did my best. I didn't fuck up. Who are you? Yo, you lose Babylon, man. Power back at the cafe you now. Yeah, I need to block up some more. Shit! I told you the bitch was a snake in the grass. I didn't know that Mr. Bogren was here in Liberty City. If I could have killed them all then and there. Just chill, nigga, man. One at a time. One, one coca filled basket. See? We find out where Dimitri is, then BAM! Take the rest of them out. Let's keep your head down until then. Fucking Dimitri. Made me kill Faust and then he sell me down the river. I'm gonna speak to Batman. You keep on alone, call a woman and get out of this place. Hey, thanks for your help, Jacob. One love, my brother.
Hopper Street in the EIC. Quickly, cut. Roman, what are you doing? Why are you whispering? Well, I'll be there soon. Roman! Roman, where are you? In here! I'm stuck! Let me out! Shit, man! <sighs> what are you doing in there? I got scared. People started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone! What happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead? More or less. Everything was fine yes. before you. Yes. Fine, and now this? Thank you! Thanks a lot! It's Vini! Nevidna. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes. The guy in <sighs> Europe. Who lives by the Adriatic. Yeah, yeah. He's here now. <sighs> Great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. Bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. <sighs> Please. Now, come on. Let's go back to the apartment. We can pick up our stuff, and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out. Hey, beautiful! Um, listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bohem? Oh, you're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. <sighs> Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about getting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classy place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We own a real restaurant. Tavern is a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. What the fuck? Holy fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, cousin. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! How long it took me to get the place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you! I know. Jesus! It's on fire! Fuck! I've got nothing left! Not my home, not my business, nothing! They took it all! I'm sorry, Roman. I'm really sorry, but we have to go. We'll meet Mallory and Bohan. We still have her. And you! For all the good you've done me! How long it took me to get set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. 
It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed. I've been beaten up. I was kidnapped and then shot in the stomach. My apartment got burned down and so did my business. Things have been going so great. Just great since you showed up. You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed. Except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait. I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now. And I should be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive. Shut up. Drive. <laughs> Hey, beautiful. What's up? No, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. <laughs> it goes where I used to cologne. <laughs> you had tried to impress Michelle or something. You're coming to your cousins, are you there? Great. See you in a bit, beautiful. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I, I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. It was a beautiful ring. It was, it was worth you. <laughs> now I have nothing. <laughs> Here we are. The beginning of our new lives. Again. Not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be impressing women with our wonderful hot tub, but uh, this looks okay. Yes, great. Come on, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Where should I start? All right, I'll start with you. What's wrong with you? Fifteen minutes ago, you were cowering in fear because you didn't know what was going to happen. Now, you know everything is shit, and you're going to be killed, and you're all cheerful. I don't get it. I guess I'm an optimist. An idiot, not an optimist. I was bored of broker anyway. I'm glad you turned up and made some Russian killers burn down my oh. home and business. Oh, yeah, thanks, Nico. Thanks a bunch. Is that better? March. Thank God you're OK, both of you. We're fucked. We're broke and on the run. No, I'm from up here, Nico. I know a bunch of people who might be able to help out. Why don't you come and meet me at the community center later on? I, I gotta go to work. Bye, Poppy. Mwah, mwah. And have a shower. You smell a little, um, mature. So, I guess we start again. Sure. I'm going out. Nico Bellic, we did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. I was loyal to you, Dimitri. Why did you turn on me? You think I could survive in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You who has so many enemies! You robbed Bulgarin, you killed Mikhail. You know no more of loyalty than I do. You know why I killed Faustin? It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico.
fucking cabrón. Nicky, we gotta talk serious. All right, man. If you want my advice, the only way you're going to get your balls back to normal is if you stop juicing or you get implants. How many times? I have to tell you, homie, my balls are golden, okay? I want to talk to you about Roman. He's got a problem. He's gambling like an animal. Online, in clubs, everywhere. You need to control your cousin, bro. Roman's a grown-up. He can look after himself, Brucey. He's getting involved with some serious cats, homie. Even people I might think twice about dealing with. And I'm one dangerous motherfucker, okay? Put him in Gamblers Anonymous or something. I'm starting to think he's more interested in cards than chasing pussy. And that ain't cool, you dig? Sure, Brucey. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs>